feel comfortable. And I think they have to start this match as slight favourites as a result of that. But as I say, these men's doubles matches are always so tight. So this final will start with Rajiv Ram serving. Final there. Lob return always so effective. I'm not sure uh, how much Papana knew about that one <laughs> off the frame, but they were able to take over the net. in this opening game by Popana. Chance for a, a dream start to get a break right out of the gates here. Big hitting from Popana on the forehand. That's his strongest uh, ground stroke. by Bopana Ebden to start this final. First game. We'll see uh, behind that. It's a little bit unfortunate for these players in a final. Uh, the, the timing of such here at noon on a Friday and a very warm day. Not as many folks here because they're three hours from now. Djokovic and Shelton will be on this court for the first men's semi. And it's a only because I've noticed, really felt during this U.S. Open, I've seen a fair number of doubles matches with excellent crowds. Yeah, it's uh, it's a little bit of a shame, and you're right to mention it because it's a factor in this match. You know, it's a, a dream for these players to be playing in a U.S. Open final, and they've got to just manage the fact that it, the stadium isn't, you know, that busy as yet, and just get on with business. Oh. This uh, championship match once before, 2010, alongside Samuel Hat Qureshi. They were the Indopak Express. Yes. And they fell in that 2010 final. Fell to, to Bob and Mike Bryan, but that's what's amazing. At 43, it probably thought it was a one and done chance to win a major and here he is getting a second chance oh. Oh. Right first point they've lost in the match as I said Papana's game has really evolved from you know a, a, an all-out serve and volleyer into someone with still a very uh, big and effective serve, but you know, staying back and allowing his partner Matt Ebden to make moves at the net. Well, the reason for that, just I think, accepting that he's not as quick and as agile as he used to be okay. to get in for that first volley, and you know, staying back just gives it a little more time to see the point unfold and soak up any return that gets past Ebden. But when you serve as big as he. He does 120 miles an hour there, you're still going to hold a lot. Especially with a partner producing volleys like that. That's pretty good, you're right. 120, 110 on that serve. So, again, a very good start for Bopana and Ebden. Has won a mixed doubles Grand Slam, Rohan Bopana. 
So he is a, a, a Grand Slam champion. 2017 French Open alongside Gabriela Dabrowski. Colin, from your view, what, what has made Rom Salisbury such a good team? Well, the, these teams, are, as I say, for me, are quite similar in the, in the sort of way they match up. You've got a, an older, more experienced player with a, a really good serve, as Ram and Papana have, even though Ram, you know, broken here. That's uh, usually a tough game to break. And then you've got the younger player who's, you know, in uh, Ebden and Salisbury, who are both two of the most athletic players in, in cer certainly, the, you know, the doubles specialist world. Uh, very quick at the net. Uh, Ebden in particular is you know, a rock, really. He makes a lot of returns and plays he did there. But also, I would say Ebden and Salisbury, not the biggest of servers, can be a, a chance to get a, a look for the returning team. See Papana latch onto a beautiful backhand there. And not to say they've got bad serves, but maybe just not quite as big as Ram and Papana. And of course, when you consider that Ram and Papana aren't quite as agile at the net to help them out on serve, they can just be slightly more, you know, a few percent more vulnerable on their service games. 15-30 here, what a start for Papana and Ebden so far. Salisbury have stayed together as we see Salisbury's coaching team there. Louis Caillé in the bucket hat, very experienced uh, LTA doubles coach. He's the, French, David O'Hare. he's the French guru, isn't he? French Canadian. French Canadian, thank you. Yeah, I was uh, lucky enough to be coached by Louis myself. Oh, you were? Yeah, he's uh, a genius mind in the, in the doubles game. to start. We're just here with Jeeve Brown trying to bring a bit of energy, recognizing that this is uh, a, already a slow start and it's potentially a catastrophic start in the context of this opening set if they fall a double break behind. That was good. To Wait for Salzburg to shake off a double. Yes. Yeah, the, the nice feature for these players at Grand Slam level is that they play uh, advantage scoring as opposed to the no ad scoring on the regular tour or in the mixed here, where this would be a break point again. So it's some kind of comfort for Salisbury to be back to juice. Back to back, right on the, right on the center line. is all about. He's got very compact strokes on uh, both sides, which uh, you know, just gives him a great ability to just uh, absorb the pace of a serve and, and redirect it as he did beautifully there. Okay. 
It's a one little small section of the uh, seating area here that's right in the sun. It'll move. Uh, So the Pobon and Ebden, man, this is fun. they're tough out these first three games. Yeah, Matt Ebden is uh, picking them apart on return here. Just not a good enough serve, really. Uh, it's neither into the body nor out wide, right in the hitting zone. And Ebden's, you know, too good to let you away with that one. Pana did a good job just to clean things up. Thing really for the server like Salisbury as well. Indeed, Ebden, when he gets going, they don't quite have a big enough serve where they can afford to miss their spot. You know, if they're going to go into the body, it better be right into, you know, the, the right hip of a right hand, or if they're going to go T or wide, it better be close to the line, otherwise they can be in trouble. Big serves in that game right on the center line that helped them get a hold. This is Matt Ebden serving. And they're trying to deny Rahm and Salisbury an open record third straight title. Ebden himself has a major marvelous run with a fellow Aussie, Max Purcell, last time calling at Wimbledon. You're absolutely right. In fact, made the Australian Open and Wimbledon finals last season with Purcell. Winning at Wimbledon. Felt as if they may continue as a doubles team off the back of that. It would seem you know, reasonable to assume that Max Purcell there are still big ambitions on, on the singles court and proved to be a great decision from him because he's gone from strength to strength through the Challenger Tour and onto the main ATP Tour in singles. Um, full credit to him and obviously Matt Ebden able to team up with Raham Papana for this season and form a strong relationship. They're the Indian Wells champions and looking to become the US Open champions here. Good pop there from Ebden, 126 miles per hour. Shows you that he's feeling pretty loose here to start the match. Pointed something, but Pana can still hit a pretty good serve at his age and Ebden's crushed a couple there. Yeah, that was an impressive uh, yeah. service game from the Aussie. <coughs> Important game coming here for Rajiv Ram. Broken in the opening game of the match. I want to just get a solid hold here, settle in. there before the, the second serve and it was an interesting 
clear the serve going into the forehand of Mopana. Salisbury, the netman, covering the down the line shot because the, the more natural shot of the forehand is to go cross court. Mm -hmm. So whether the serve is supposed to go into the back, I'm not so sure. Really is the strongest part of Joe Salisbury's game when his partner is serving. He can just cover at least three quarters of the net. So athletic, he's quick back to overheads. Great partner to have when you're serving. Okay. Well, there's just what you said, Tom. Really much better service game for Rao. Still the break edge in the opening set to Bopana Ebden. View there. It's just a little awkward. Going to be in this first set. Oh. With the roof partially open and the shadow creeping across. Salisbury trying to dig in here and see if they can get that break back from game one. You can just see the energy from them after they won that one point. Just did a better on the return there, though. Did. Like Salisbury, very quick back to overheads. Panna and Ebden in their uh, quarterfinal match against the Americans. Nate Lamons and uh, Jackson Withrow. Incredibly tight opening set on that uh, grandstand. They saved nine break points in the first set, seven of them set points for stealing it in a tie break. Some amazing tennis to save the set points as well. And they just ran away with the second set. Seemed to really just confidence to take it to that semi where they too much for Herbert Mahout. Missed that in that, so now the door opened a bit for Ram and Salisbury. Oh. Airbear Mahout back playing again. I'm wondering if that's connected to the Olympics next summer. Yeah, it may well be. Of course, from such a successful team over the years, yeah. Pierre Ugarber had a period where he couldn't really travel much with you know around the COVID pandemic and the various vaccination choices he made and mm -hmm. so they, they, they were split for a while but team up again here on, all right here you go the break chance now for rom salisbury he's eaten there in the uh wake forest polo shirt long time coach at uh, wake forest just left that role but now uh, working with rajiv Ram. Bigger second time run. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're really using that slower pace kick serve to the ramp backhand. Don't want to give him any pace to work with. They're trying to get the ball up high on his one handed backhand. You can see it's tricky for him. They have to take you over doing the rest. So that's uh, intelligent serving there. I mean, it didn't miss, but still. Uh, he has a few fastballs in his pocket, apparently. Yeah, he, can, uh, he can still turn the shoulder over. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Look how clean the have to put that away. Three straight at net. That for me, Ted, is a sign of someone who's really mastered their serve. 
you know, when they can go 96 mile an hour first serve with heavy kick, mm -hmm. 128 flat, 105 the next. I mean, I know you've covered a lot of baseball. Someone's like that pitcher, I'm sure, that can just change things up from pitch to pitch. Some exactly. servers, it's like a consistent pace over and right. over. Right. You know, he's mastered that art of just changing speeds. Yeah, changing just speeds, spins, spots, everything. Changing, therefore, the rhythm of the returner, right? Disrupting, we should say. I was about to say, Bopana is the only, we've got our history here, Bopana is the oldest finalist in major history, Grand Slam history. The yeah. previous oldest had been Daniel Nestor, and I'm still not believing, has he really retired? I used to tease Mark Knowles about that forever. I said, you stop playing with Nestor, he's going to play another 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> he tried. forever, no matter what was happening in the world, Nesta was winning on the doubles court. <laughs> Beautiful little first volley here. Look at that perfect technique from Salisbury. Stayed down low with the ball, kept the racket in front. Now, in the first set for this team. Salisbury's first service game was a struggle. He had to get some clutch first serves to get through it. That seems, to, just watching two games, Colin looks to be Salisbury's go to serve as the center. Yeah, he's. Uh, Targeting that one here. The difficulty in this situation as well, the seventh game, whoever has to serve the seventh game, the balls are at their oldest. They've been used for the warm up for six games and just slows things down enough where it can make the server slightly more vulnerable. Body serve with Ram staying where he is. Good call. You a sign stealer? <laughs> sign reader. Yeah, exactly. Perfect doubles point here. Great teamwork. Papana not going for too much on the return. Putting it in play and just allowing Ebden to do his thing. Well, sounds very saved a point in his first service game that would have led to a double break. Here's a second one. Oh. So they mixed it up and tried to go wide. Oh. Well, I didn't smoke that return, and now Opana Ebden will be back with you a cushion to try to take the first set of this men's doubles championship. And here it is, so Matthew Ebden will be the server here to try to wrap up the first set. Oh. 
that second set. Yeah, impressive. This is a real statement set here from Papan and Empton. This is going to take some recovering from for Ram and Salisbury. You know, they've both been broken. They've both sort of got a bit of doubt in that regard. And Papan will be so strong. Oh. Serving well, hardly missed a return, taking care of business in the net. Fantastic performance. service games and Rohan Bopana and Matthew Ebden take the first set at this championship. Of course, real tennis fans remember well Bopana's played so long. He had a long running partnership with another great player from India, Leander Pays. They went through some uh, went through that we call relationship turmoil. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Bupata was kind of the young upstart, wasn't yeah. he, when uh, Pays and indeed Bupati were, were around. Uh, right. Two great right. Indian men's Grand Slam doubles champions. Familiar start to the second set there. And they had to take it over the net. Pick it up when they left off. This wow. is too good. Well, this... Colin, this, well, Rama Salisbury can't have this mirror the first set. Rama broken at love in game one. This is Scott Davidoff there, the coach of Pan and bottom right of the screen. Blue cap, very experienced uh, doubles coach. So be emotional for the team if Pan in particular can get the job done here. to just try and use the lob and disrupt things, but he's so quick to get back for the overhead. Critical hold to serve there.
something to make Papana think. That, that's the big difference here, isn't it? You know, Papana yeah, and Empty, yeah. we saw from the stats, 100% of first serve points won. They've even won 7 of 11 second serve points in the match so far, so they step into the line without any doubt in their mind that they're going to win the point and hold serve. Whereas the, on the opposite, oh. Salisbury and Ram have to really think about where are we going to serve, how are we going to get through this, how are we going to get the hold? All the momentum with the plan and empty here. That's a nice move there from Salisbury with the plan of staying on the baseline, just following the return in, taking over the net. Once two doubles players are established in the net, it can be hard to find a way through, round, or over them. Doesn't it? Bopana serving Ebden at net. Yeah, that's uh, that's tough to break. The serve that Bopana has, the athleticism and the, the sharp volleys that Ebden has, really tough to find a way through. Right, well, now third time for Salisbury to serve. His first two games have been uh, not been smooth. Forcing on the second serve there because he's worried about what return is going to come at him. Mm -hmm. So, you know, going a little bigger, 100 miles an hour, not enough spin. Again, under pressure here. like he's seen the serve in slow motion. He seems to be waiting for it. Ball coming onto his racket. Class returning. Second serves. They have served ten second serve points and won one. Five have been doubles. And yeah, they're digging themselves a hole. Every time Salisbury misses a first serve here, you just feel the tension. So there, wanted to make sure yes. went in. Rear miss from Ebden.
43 years of age, this guy's still got it. Just <laughs> flying across the court, and what a hit. He just ripped this backhand down the line. Have some of that. Uncle Rohan unwraps a Christmas present. Wow. Great point. making sure he didn't go over. Yeah, of course, they can use the video review if they feel that the opponent has volleyed the ball mm -hmm. on the other side of the net. I think he was okay on that occasion. Sense it for Salisbury. He has really had to work for holds. Ram Salisbury lead, two games to one, second set. All right. So that has been achieved. Purpose we can't explain. Well, let's see how Papana have to respond here if that mm -hmm. just gets uh, under their skin. Real emotions we're seeing from Ron and Salisbury. This match has got the potential to turn here off the back of that delay. And Salisbury just seem so much more relaxed and energized. This is a big game. Missed. Maybe just going to miss the chance for disrupting this final. It did look like he's going to be able to survive this 
shaky game. Oh. Shaky, that's not the right word, but, you know, complicated game. Yes. Oh. Ooh, not yet. Yes. of the serve throughout the match. Matt Everton is clearly in a nice rhythm for this US Open. He looks relaxed. He looks like he can generate easy power on the first serve. And that was a job well done. That was, yes. Very calm. Again, nothing uh, compares to the delay last night. As we remind you, you can follow as we're into championship weekend. This is the first championship. We will have them across all disciplines this weekend. You can follow at the official website, usopen.org. You can download the US Open app in the App Store and Google Play Store, and you can join in the conversation on social, hashtag US Open. Nothing will compare to the delay last night. That was, of course, unprecedented. But any disruption, five, seven minutes, whatever that was, is. Yeah, it was over four, yeah. 40 minutes last night, I think I'm right in saying. Yeah, it was closer, yeah, it was closer to 50. And by the time they played, it was. Uh, match actually got better after that. Quality of play from both players was better. the rhythm, as you said, disrupting the rhythm of the returner. When you serve, well, there's a rhythm to a match, isn't there? Yeah, there is. And, so, and that, even that stoppage disrupts the ryth rhythm of the match. And, and the momentum as well, which is yeah. so big in this sport. Especially in men's doubles, where you know, a few points here and there can decide it. Oh. Discretion there over Valor. He <laughs> turned. <laughs> Three games to two. Wasn't interested in the Adam ball. Right, Popana to serve here. Shaken off that first set. Yeah, I, I think they're thinking a lot more clearly after that pause in play. Graham went over and had a chat with his coach, Chris Eaton, and they just seem to be feeling better about things. Oh. The fact that they've come through three service holds on the skate has, has helped. Fifteen. serve. Double fall. That was a very short second. Shaky. Look at that. 
making sure the ball. We were making sure the ball was going to Volpana though. Interesting to see if he uses it again here to the round backhand. Challenge can Joe Salisbury hold here? Round, that would Salisbury position this match to go to a third set. Seconds. Yeah, not a great game there for Raham Bapana. Perhaps just guilty of becoming slightly predictable, serving to Ram using the high formation, the kick serve wide and empty, covering the cross court. I mean, it did work so well for them for the you know, whole first set, but sometimes you've got to be prepared just to be agile and make a change. Credit to Ram and Salisbury, though, they're in the match now. dynamic like in a match like this when one half of a team is scuffling to hold serve. The other partner trying to boost. Yeah, you've got two fundamental rules and levels. Let's play your best tennis and, and help your partner to play their best tennis. So in this case, uh, the Ram between points needs to do a good job of that. Uh, Pumping Salisbury up, making him feel positive or relaxed, but also, you know, doing a good job in the point when he's at the net, you know, making good moves, being sharp, taking care of the volleys that come his way, just helping him through the games. It's, it's a team game. Oh. Capable of making that tonight, but it wasn't easy. It was a great dig by Joe Salisbury off this return. This athletic player wouldn't have got a racket on that, and he somehow saved the point. Just miss hit the ball, died in the net. Feel real good.
and then they back it up. Position this now, one game away from a deciding set. 43 year old from Scotland, maybe, but not one from Bangalore, <laughs> India, I don't think. I think Bob's can take the heat. Swinging it in return with that kind of freedom, and now he's just really starting to feel it. Beautiful yeah. flick up the line there. That's it. I would think Thomas has some significance this game if that didn't control. Ram would serve for the set, but if that were to be the case, this team would serve first to start the third. Yeah. Which can be an advantage. Right. You've also got to ask the question around to serve it out. There's no guarantees. Right. Oh. Drop serve here, and then Ram serves first in the third. Oh. It's clearly a play they've identified that kick serve to Ram on the eye formation and, and asking him to return up the line. Just wonder if, if a couple of times maybe the net player could cover the line just to give him a different look. Oh. Right now Ram will feel like if he makes that return he's, he's in the point. He kind of knows what's going to knows the line is going to be open. Months of age, two months older than Daniel Nestor when he made the finals in Australia. The oldest Grand Slam champion, Jean Julien Roger, 2022 Roland Garros, age 40. Feeling for where the racket face is. Orthodox first volley, but look at the second one with two hands in the racket, able to just somehow loop round and square the face up to finish the point. Thirty here. Good evening. Ram out, cranked up his best shot so far, one twenty three.
set. And so this men's doubles championship will move to a deciding set. So the other question, I guess you ask Colin, that longer you've been doing something when you sit for seven minutes or so as Bopana just did. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, a game he has to produce his best tennis here. And that's not the best of starts. Again, they're leaving the, the down the line. No. It's sort of open for round. There's not a shadow of doubt in his mind that that line is going to be open. He's a better job with the forehand. He's in real trouble here. Oh. 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 Start to the no. second set. This will be for Ram and Salisbury. Oh. My goodness, they come out the blocks firing. Floated in. <laughs> well, they did save nine break points in the first set of the quarterfinal, like I said, and it was shots like this. That is just clutch from Bufana. Very low percentage, but he made it work. Oh. Reaction from that end of you need to know about the importance of getting back to juice. Two points, Popana just didn't look good. Man, this, he's come up with a few responses. Well, he's gone from zero to Ooh. hero here, hasn't he? This yes. is clutch again. Escape from Love 40. First game, final seven. Critical hold to serve there. Some real clutch tennis. And there's the change up. All of a sudden, Ebden covering the line. And now Ram has something different to think about. It had to, it had to happen. Well, they maybe just saved themselves in the nick of time with a the hold there.
starting with their preferred mode. Opana serving, getting out of Love 40. Ram holds it Love. Stepping in for the overhead, but Ebden keeping his concentration. in the shade. the oldest first time Grand Slam winner in history. Ram looking to become the first sushi eating yeah. Grand Slam winner. First volley there from Joel Salisbury. Just went straight at that Evden at a comfortable height. If you go at these top doubles players, you know, the reactions are so quick and likely to make something happen. It's better to go sort of around them if you can, certainly keep the ball down low. times he is just blanketing the net. Another bang a little bash there. 
Well, it was 115 mile an hour serve, and the return looked even quicker. That is right out the middle, straight through the team. Forty on the Salisbury serve in the second set, and couldn't quite get it done there. And again, just outlasted by the, the volleys of Graham and Salisbury. survive that's the volley there from Salisbury that turned it in their favor that's what they've got to produce you know Salisbury doesn't have the big booming serve so yeah. he's got to play well at the net and he did well there on the edge. for Ebden's return game, second serve. Pivotal.
save. That second serve return. Looked like he got locked up and we were right on Rams' racket. That's the one they may Two rule. games over, final zone. Yeah, that was the opportunity. You know, it's, uh, it's the kind of point where Edward Pana don't win this match. Matt Edward may be reliving that one a few times. And why didn't I go down the line? But of course, you know, it's easy with hindsight. Great effort there from Harvard Salisbury just to work their way through the game. It's been virtually every one of Salisbury service games you said that very thing. Yeah, Great effort. He's battling. Second set. And they had the early chances, but then had the delay with the roof being closed and sort of mid to early part of the second set where he played a poor game. there it looked like it's another clutch forehand another pressure from Rohan Bapana Memory held from Love 40 in the opening game with a, an incredible lob at one stage. That was a big hit there. Well, here you go, Colin. You called it. Now the chance for Ram Salisbury. Beautiful to see. Open to three peated men's doubles. And a remarkable reminder that not only the greatest, Bob and Mike Bryan won this title five times. Never repeated, let alone three peated. And they have their first lead of this match. Chances. And the uh, break point at one all the second. And the break points at one two of the Salisbury, Salisbury serve. They've got to convince themselves they can get this break back. Stay mentally positive. Ready, TV. A sense that the pilot's head went down slightly when he was broken there. Job for Ebden to not only bring his best tennis but try and get my pan of firing again. Oh, 
game we watched Joe Salisbury's service game as every game has been a fight. He's been broken once, Rom once, Lapana twice, Abdin clean. Yeah, Abdin's been a, a real rock, you have to say. Oh. The only thing that Abdin might look back on in the match is quite being able to convert a break point in the second or the third. Sportsmanship here. Fifteen. You, you said there was a, you want to give the point to them. Yeah, obviously I said it's uh, touched. So obviously I'm giving the point, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, it's a good sportsmanship. Mr. Pobana up the mid. The ball touched his arm. The team would like to give the point to Ram and uh, Salisbury. Pobana just submitting that this forehand from Matt Hampton as it whipped across court just raised his, just raised his arm right on the back. I mean, nobody saw the umpire didn't call it, but that is uh, fantastic sportsmanship. Teddy. Up his hand and awarding the point to the opponents. Amen. That's that's a that's a gold standard play in a major final. Oh. You know what? He might not come out of this with his first men's doubles grand slam title, but he'd come out with a huge amount of pride and, and honor in what he's just done there. a nice forehand from Ebden. Here's a look back. Yeah, it did. It oh, is on. Wow. Yeah. Super slow mo. You can you can see the uh, trajectory change. Uh, 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 no chance, I think, for the umpire to see that with the angle she had. Right. The Bopana move there is accentuated by the number of memories I have right away. Players that clearly should have made that move and didn't. Yeah, that's been the case in the past. Starting to go down, it's just another sort of moment of drama, if you want to call it that. Could just flip the sort of mindset in the match of all four players. A good hold here from Love 30. Oh, 
going to happen. Act and Similar piece of sportsmanship, I can call, it was in the 2012 men's doubles final at Wimbledon. My good friend Johnny Murray, who won the title that year with Frederick Nielsen, did something similar. He had a volley, and I think it was his racket, maybe just clipped the net. Oh. Nobody saw it, nobody called it, but he put his hand up to award the point to the opponents. <laughs> really confident start here from Joe Salisbury. Saved three break points his previous service game in this set. there from Ebden. Settle in to see if the champions can. Graham Salisbury lead five games to four. Finals. standout returner in this match. He's off to latch on to something here and just get his team into the game. Oh. 
just that. Something to build on, though. 15. A game like this, it doesn't always have to be the best return. I always felt that's where the Bryan brothers, you mentioned five times winner here, was so good. The big moments, the ball was in play. Keep the pressure on the opponents. Control of it. Thank you. 